V Rising had a huge update that unfortunately broke pretty much all mods under the sun. However, today Bepinex has had a massive breakthrough and modding now works once more for V Rising. In this quick video, I'll be showing you a mod that completely changes V Rising into pretty much a brand new game, the first person or third person mod, and of course, it'll also show you how to install any kind of mod really. Anyways, let's get into it. In order to get mods working in V Rising, you can of course install all of them manually or preferably use a mod manager to keep them all up to date. Thunderstore is a modding platform where you can get thousands of mods for V Rising or any other game, and of course they have their own mod manager which you can download here. But I'd recommend against the Thunderstore app and instead use R2 Modman, which is usually pinned on almost all other games, which is exactly the same, just ad free. R2 Modman is what we'll be using here. If you already installed it and set it up to work with V Rising, you can skip forward in the video. Anyways, to install the mod manager, head across to R2 Modman, which you'll find it down below, and click manual download here. Opening up the zip file, you'll find a few different things in here. What we're interested in is the setup.exe. Simply double click this and we'll be installing it. So next, yes, and there we go. Once it's done, make sure run is ticked and click finish. Otherwise, you'll need to start it manually. The first time you fire it up, you'll see a game selection list, something like this. You'll want to find V Rising and click select game. You can, of course, search for it up here, then select it or set as default and or click the favorites button in order to get this to pop up way at the top of the list. Click select game and choose default, then select profile. There we go. Now we can go ahead and start installing mods. If you already have R2 Mod Man with something like Lethal Company or a different game, click settings followed by other and in here you'll find change game. This is what you'll need to click in order to select a different game. Anyways, to install mods, head across to the online tab over here where we can go ahead and install different Different things. Usually, Bepinex and other requirements like that will be automatically installed whenever we try to install a mod. However, you can, of course, choose to install them manually as well. So, in this quick video, I'll be installing Bepinex. So, I'll expand this and choose Download and Download with Dependencies. And on top of this, we'll be installing Modern Camera, which should give us third person and first person perspectives, which is great. I'll install both of these. These were both recently updated, Bepinex obviously being the main one. From here, you can download any other mod that you want, but I'll just be showing you Modern Camera. Once you've done this, you'll need to click Start Modded over here to run the game with mods. If you choose Start Vanilla or you open up the game directly on Steam using the play button here, him, it'll load up without mods at all. So you'll need to start R2 Mod Man and choose Start Modded. Once you've done some, you'll see a window that pops up that looks something like this. And if it's your first time launching the game, it could take quite a while to pass. However, once it's done, the game should launch up. Pretty much most mods are back in a functioning state, if not requiring very small changes. Anyways, I'll continue my game here and we'll have a quick look at modern camera. Previously, this is what the game looked like. You can only look this far up and down and you can only zoom in and out pretty much this far. However, modern camera allows much more control. If we pause the game, head into options, followed by general and scroll down, you'll see these new options options under modern camera. Obviously the text for these is missing, we just have placeholder text for now, but there is a proper labeled menu system that should show him. For some reason for me, maybe the mod just needs a small update, they're appearing without their actual text. Anyways, we'll make sure that it's enabled and for now we'll have a look at what changed. Well, if we push it down, you can see just how far the camera goes and if we zoom in a bit, we practically have third person here. But we can go even further, zoom in even further yet and bam, we're now in first person. So this is a huge perspective change, quite literally, that changes the gameplay pretty much entirely. If we head back into options and general, we have many different things here, such as enabling first person, which we've already gone to here, or if you like a third person an over the shoulder view, you can scroll down to over the shoulder and enable this one. When you do so and zoom out a bit or zoom in, you'll see that the camera is now offset and it's over our shoulder. So whenever we click and do whatever, we're playing in a third person view. If you'd like to lock the camera so you don't need to worry about looking around and zooming in and out by accident, you can head back to options and instead lock the camera zoom using this option here and further down, lock the camera pitch here as well. When you do so, whatever values you have set above are where the camera will be and we can't move it up or down or in and out at all. So for a proper third person view like this one here, I've gone ahead and turned off the zoom lock and under third person pitch where we have the lock pitch enabled, I made sure to set the lock pitch angle to just 10. 
and of course, over the shoulder turned on. When we do so, this is how the game looks. We can't look up or down, but we can of course zoom in and out if you'd like a different perspective or even first person for that matter. If you go first person, things do unlock of course. Anyways, with that, the game now has a completely new perspective to it. And of course you can enable a crosshair for example. So always show crosshair and there you go. We now have a crosshair right in the center of our screen, allowing us to continue using abilities and things like that as we would usually now from a third person perspective. There are of course a ton of different options here, but what you'll probably want is the field of view. I've cranked it all the way up to 90, and that's how I'm getting this look over here. Obviously, this mod, much like anything else, can be customized to your preference, but playing from a third-person perspective is actually a pretty cool thing, especially in a game like this, where it's usually locked to a top-down view. It adds a whole new look to the game, quite literally. So, of course, play it as you like, and of course, mod it as you like, as mods have now pretty much been restored to a functioning state for the most part. Anyways, hopefully this video helped you, and brought a whole bunch of new excitement to V Rising, of course, as modding is super exciting to do. Thank you all for watching. Mine's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.